is getting power from this uh, solar generator. For a more detailed review on this unit, go to my YouTube channel to check it out. Ambient temperature is around 70 degrees, and this thing only feels warm. I was a bit concerned about uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be melting here, but uh, it does not feel hot at all. Not too bad. Uh, at the peak power output, I measured 57 watts, and the display here is pretty accurate. Only shows 22 volts here because here I'm charging my three iPads at the same time. Guys, I just want to do a quick follow up video on this solar generator. I have been using it for a few days now and I decided to mount it, I mean, put it on my desk and um, it is charging through a the mc4 cable outside here on my little roof 100 volts a flexible solar panel and the unit is charging three uh, ipads simultaneously as well as my macbook pro well there are little Kirks about this generator that you should know is that um, since I already discussed last time about this uh, type C port it can be used as input um, it can do 64 volts of charging to the unit and however it cannot be used when the unit is being charged as only one input is allowed at the same time so I'm using the solar panel to charge the unit, which offsets the energy output um, from the battery here, um, which also disables this uh, Type-C port. So uh, we, are, we only have uh, three ports available right now. Therefore, I bought a 12-volt a, um, Type-C uh, car adapter here to charge just to charge my laptop so i just want to uh, do an experiment to see if i you know not if i'm not using any ac power from the wall outlet will, will i be able to sustain all my electronics and laptop from this single little battery here which is very portable and super portable and this part appears to be metal interesting and two usb qc port max 18 volts max 18 volts and this one is 90 volts 5 volt to 20 volts should be more than enough for my macbook pro let's see other accessories Appears to be very thick and high gauge cable. Great uh, USB to Type C, and this one is uh, wow, Type C to Type C. Uh, appears to be quite high quality cable. Love it, love it. I'll do some real charging test with my MacBook Pro and a perhaps a USB power meter. My MacBook Pro is at 59%. I'm gonna do the test with the help from my solar generator, which is charging right now from outside solar panel. I'm gonna plug this in, lights up, get the USB cord, plug it in, then let's check this out. There's a, it, it is currently discharging with 3.64 watts. Now I'm gonna plug it in. 
hear the beeping sound and it's charging. I think it may take a while for the data to refresh. It's charging now. It will take a while. Let's see the display here. Put them side by side. Output 28, 29. This is still showing uh, less than one watt, but the software just is uh, not as responsive. All right. I have reopened the software. Now it shows 21.3 watts. And this guy shows 40 watts peaked at 40. Uh, Note that this is uh, 2000. Uh, 17 MacBook Pro 13 inch, which can only take 60 watts um, at maximum input. Yeah, and considering its state of charge, it is at at 60.3 percent. Cool. Shows 42 for a brief moment. Let me close the software again. Coconut battery. Yeah, I think this this guy may be more accurate. 45 volts. Pretty good. I have added a USB power meter so we can see the readings um, with more details. Shows 26, 27 volts, charging at 20 volts, 1.8 amps, around 30 volts, which is consistent with the uh, reading here on the screen. Click helpful if you think this review helps. Thanks. Oh, by the way, this is rated at 90 watts, but my laptop won't take that much. So I do not have a way to test its maximum output capability. Um, but I think uh, I like my MacBook for being so power efficient. As this, um, Bluetooth capability to sync up to my mobile or tablet to check the charging status and also the um, all the physical button controls, but I can't do Wi-Fi. So sometimes when I'm away from my desk, um, I, I'm just interested to see the uh, solar charging uh, numbers right here. Uh, I would use this little camera I'll, I'll just leave it here and it, it allows me to remotely monitor the, the status of the battery yeah just something I, I would like to see as you can see it's winter and the sun is up and I'm charging for my roof supplying all the power to my major electronics